Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how I separate my models into different pieces um, using Mesh Mixer, which is a free piece of software. It's uh, very good and it's great that it is free. So first off, I've um, obviously opened up my STL file, which is this Master Chief model. Can't remember where this file come from, so I do apologize to the original creator. Now, for example, with this model, if you want to print it bigger than the build plate or um, in my case, I want to paint this body without these guns and arms being in the way. Um, I want to separate this arm and this arm from the model. So first off, we want to click edit and we want to click align. That just brings the model above the floor just so it doesn't um, get in the way. OK, so let's move up to the arm. We can then click select. Let's say we want to cut it in this um, joint here. We want to orange select everything around here. Now you need to make sure that you get all the way around the model. So click in underneath, make sure I've selected everything. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So up the top left, we've got edit, click that one and go to plane cut. Now this brings up this little thing here, but rather than move it around, we can just draw a line through like this. Now, if we go zoom in here, let's say we want to cut it through here. That looks pretty good. Maybe move it over slightly. Now, a moment ago, when we used the orange selector tool, it basically made it so our plane cut will only cut through what was selected. So the leg down here, there will be no cut to the leg or this gun which is very important because otherwise you'll start slicing, you know, unnecessarily uh, through the model. So when you get it into the correct position where you want it, make sure up here we've got keep both halves. So slice, keep both. OK. Accept. OK, so now if we click our select tool up here, you'll see my gray selector is um, hitting like a wall. And then as we move over, it takes a lot to actually bring it onto the next part of the model. So we can see our cut here, but it's not cut down here. So in this situation, this model is just one piece. You click, click edit and click separate shell. So that will separate these two pieces. Now, I don't actually want to do this because some models come um, already in separate pieces. So the head might already be a piece. And if you click that, it will separate all of the, the pieces. So what I'm doing is clicking select. So going back to the select tool and I'm going to select all of this arm that we have here. Going under. Again, make sure you click every part of this, this model, um, this side of the model that we want to separate. Which once we've got it all orange. So double check, missing a bit there. OK, so once we have the arm selected, we can see it's very um, we have our clean slice here. We want to click edit top left and go to separate. Once they've separated, we'll have our object browser and we'll have two objects in the browser. So we'll have our two arms. Oh, as we can see, we missed a piece on the actual model. So we have missed a piece there. So that can easily be sorted. We go select, select that one, edit, and we want to separate. So then we want to rejoin our arm and that piece, and we want to combine the two. OK. There we go. We have our two pieces. So let's go to this one here, our arm, uh, and hide it we can see that our sort of shoulder here has this hole in the model. So a lot of this model isn't um, fully solid. So that there is the innards of the Master Chief. And it's the same on this piece here. We can see like a hole here. Now this needs to be fixed before we continue because it won't 3D print correctly. To do this, we go to Analyze at the side and inspector, and we'll see these little orbs come up here. 
and basically that's just saying where the holes are so we can click auto repair and fix the fix the holes that were you know created when we, we, we made the model okay and then the same on the other side we click analyze inspector again it's saying there's a hole there auto repair there we go so we have our two sides of the pieces okay so now let's say we want to add a locator hole or a locator pin we can come over here click mesh mix and let's say we want to add a sphere let's add a small one in here i don't know let's put it there for example now make sure in the top left here we have uh, create new object selected so create new object click accept we now have another object here click that go edit and we want to duplicate it so we have two but now we can just hide that piece and go back to our um, first first one now at this point you do need to save because if you don't you will probably crash and have to start all over again halo man let's call him uh, i have had this crash multiple times so it's very important to save your work before continuing so we take our locator um, pin and the body and we click control click so we have that piece and that piece now selected brings up this box in the top left we want to click boolean union so that's like uh, joining the two pieces together now it is important to change the settings here to exactly what i'm putting because it helps make the locator pin more precisely located um, otherwise you could have issues when joining the two pieces together so we've got 80 0.25 and 1 and 1 okay so hopefully your computer doesn't crash when I first tried to make this video it crashed twice and it was very annoying so accept and then pray to God we get one piece which we have we have one piece now okay so we now obviously got three pieces here um, two have now become one we can forget about this one and go to our arm okay and our copy of our pin so that was obviously the copy of the um, one we had a moment ago okay so now we need to do the inverse we have our locator pin first off i'm going to go to edit and transform and i've already changed the size here to 0.6 so i've made it 0.1 mil bigger so there's space for the glue to fit inside the hole and if there's any variation in the printing if there's any slight uh, the resin is slightly too big or whatever it's not going to obviously fit correctly together so let's then take our arm piece and our locator pin so arm piece locator pin and then this time rather than boolean union we want to click uh, boolean difference and there we go look we can see it's now done a um, an inner rather than an outer a female rather than a male and um yeah let's go 17 0.25 and then one and then we click accept we pray to god that it doesn't crash like i said before make sure you save your work like i said very important to save your work because it will crash and you will cry so let's try that again let's change these settings Five. One. Okay, there we go. So I only had two crashes. Um, for some reason, when there was the option, I changed it to max quality and then back to precise. And for some reason, that stopped my crashing. Don't know why. Who cares? 
So now we can see we've got our locator pin and our arm completely separate. So let's, for example, go to, so you can see it, we can go up here and go transform, pull this arm off, look, and we have the two pieces completely, um, completely separate and hopefully will peg together nicely when printed. Don't forget, you do need to export your pieces. So let's take the body, export, let's call this Spartan body, save, wait a bit. So hopefully now when we open this, there we go. So hopefully now that we've opened it, we've got the Spartan body with a nice separate arm, locator pin in place, and we have the arm again separate with the locator hole there. Again, this doesn't take long, probably about 10 minutes, um, and you can get some pretty decent cuts with this. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you've liked it, you know, hit that like button, maybe leave me a comment. I think if this video gets 500 likes, I will give away one of these to a UK resident. So you may have one of these um, ODST miniatures that I have 3D printed. So again, like, comment, and then I'll pick a winner if I get 500 likes, which I won't, but hey-ho. Thanks for watching and goodbye.